welcome to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope everyone had a great weekend and that you all have a really good week. I'm doing great. I've got my granddaughter here. So between my husband and my granddaughter and the pets, I've been a little bit busy. We actually didn't have internet yesterday till about, it was off when we got up and it, we didn't get it back till 5.30 yesterday afternoon. So that was interesting especially with a teenager um, and my husband who's addicted to playing golf on his phone won't get out there and play golf but boy he's just a whiz on that phone um, so yeah that kind of made the day um, a little bit strange I guess you could say but I'm back and here we are I have a product review today from GBFKE they sent me these items for review I love this company. They offer so many crafting things. If you've never been there before to check them out, I've got a link down below. And I will tell you a little bit more about the company as we go. I've got a variety today of diamond painting and cross stitch. I do think that um, you would be pleasantly surprised by going to their website because I do like their quality and I do like their prices. So before we start that though, I do want to say that I'm adding new things to the channel. I will have a review tomorrow of a cross stitch subs monthly subscription. Um, I found a company called Dandelion Stitchery. They do monthly subscription boxes. So I will have a review on that tomorrow. It's not something they sent me. I paid for it myself. I'm just trying to find new things to add to this channel. I also have some just crafting subscription boxes coming that aren't cross stitch or diamond painting so we'll see how that goes it's going to be things I've never been done before and um, yeah that could be a little bit fun <laughs> if I don't fail so keep your eye out for that also and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, thank you massive to my all my new subscribers and my subscribers I really really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos and if you like this video please hit the like button and comment below with any ideas or suggestions if you've subscribed to any crafting subscription boxes or cross stitch boxes um, that you get monthly what you think of them who you think's good who you think's not so good tell me what you're working on I would love to hear it I love all your comments thank you so let's get like going with GBFKE let's see first thing I got is a cross stitch now I think this is gorgeous it's perfect for springtime. It's by DIY Cross Stitch. So let's get it out of the bag so I can get rid of this glare. I saw these flowers and I just thought, oh my goodness, they are just so beautiful. Blues and pinks and yellows and greens. So very pretty. This is called in their description a Grandiflorum. And let's get this stuff out of here. It comes with two needles. Let's see. I don't want to go closer. Now this is a big one. This is a 40 by 50. Here we have the pattern, which is smaller than your actual picture. It has the, a photo of what you're making. The printing on this is very clear. I would say if it's too small for you to see, either blow it up if you have a printer or take pictures of it with your phone or your tablet. We have all the symbols over here. The number you'll find on your floss card, um, floss organizer card of the floss, the symbols, the DMC codes, and a color chart. Everything is gridded. So that, and it's also gridded on your fabric so that if you need to find a certain area because you're unsure of the symbol on here, it makes it a lot easier to find there. So this picture is 129 stitches wide by 173 stitches. Let's see if I can try to get more of that in there. This is really good size. It's 11 count. Yes, the fabric is stiff, but will soften up as you go. It's got your item number up here, which is really important in case you have any kind of problems with this or the floss or you run out of a color. 
you just get a hold of GBFKE customer service with an email. Make sure you let them know this number so they know exactly what, what kit you're talking about. I wanted to do a measurement real quick on what this is in inches. So this is oh just about 11 and 3 quarters inches wide by about 15 and a half inches long. So it's a good size cross stitch picture. But it's just bursting with colors. These flowers, you've got some really good color blocking areas. And that's when you find these numbers down here, down here. You know, you've got your confetti areas too. They have, uh, GBFKAE has 11 count, 14 count, and 18 count pictures. You can find some 14 count pictures and 18 count or 11 count. So you do get some variety with picking the kits that you want to pick. Just take, take a good look on it. Now when we look at the floss, it's cotton floss. It's very soft. It has absolutely beautiful colors. And see this one, unlike many that we see, 2390, which is the item number up here in the corner. So if these two were to get separated at all, you would be able to easily know that this floss organizer, full of floss, goes with this picture. So we have really pretty blues, reds, yellows, pinks, and on this side, here's some more darker pinks, greens, blues and yellows and golds. Oh my goodness, this is just going to be full of color. This is so pretty. Yeah, I saw this picture and I was like, yep, I've got to get that. I just love color. And this definitely has it. This will be a fun kit to do. Um, they don't give you any directions, I don't think, do they? No. On how to cross stitch, like a lot. Most kits do. There's no directions with this. There's only the pattern. So if you were getting this and it's a 14 count, actually it looks like 11, but they say it's 14. No, this is an 11 count. I was wrong. You can tell. Count means that uh, they're always going to be in boxes of 10. 10. 10 across, 10 up. But 11 count means 11 squares per inch. 14 count is 14 squares per inch, so the squares are smaller. And yeah, I was wrong. It is an 11 count. If you got this picture in a 14 count, your picture would be smaller than this. I would suggest if you were not, if you're not familiar with cross stitch, you start with a 11 count and just kind of work your way up with the numbers because the squares just get smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, like I said, this kit doesn't come with any in directions, so um, I would advise that if you got this, you didn't haven't ever done a cross stitch. YouTube has a ton of videos on how to cross stitch, so. There's a ton of wealth, a wealth of information out there for you on that one. Okay, let, I just think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous cross stitch picture. Okay, let's go on. Now, this is a diamond painting, and I th thought this was just stinking cute. You know how I am about cute. I thought this was adorable. This makes me think it's an AI picture um, because they seem to be popping up all over the place now. I could be dead wrong on that, but it just what, what it reminded me of that. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Lammy, is that the cutest little fluffy lammy? It has 19 different colors. You've got a legend at the top and the bottom. That's the co the number of your color with the symbol and the symbols are awesome because it's all alphabet letters it's not any little funky symbols or numbers or capitals and lowercase it's all capital alphabet letter letters which will make it so easy to do you've got your dmc codes over here just so you know i had a comment one day from a viewer that said that 
these companies, these diamond painting companies, are stealing DMC DMC's copyright by using their codes on their diamond paintings. I reached out to DMC. I asked them if it was copyright infringement for diamond painting companies anywhere to use DMC codes on their diamond paintings. DMC got back to me and said their DMC codes are welcome for anybody to use. It is not copyright infringement. So if you hear that from anybody anywhere, just uh, you can set them straight. DMC has no problem with other companies using their codes for color. Okay, so we have a really sticky canvas. It's got a little sparkle to it. But it's this little lammy, just the cutest little lammy, huh? Directions on the bottom on how to diamond paint. He's just so precious. Absolutely precious. Please let me know what you would like to watch me work on. If it's this, if it's something from another video, if it's those flowers, because I really need to incorporate that into my videos too. And I'd like it to be something that you would find enjoyable. So please let me know. I've got a tray with some wax and a pen. And then here are all the colors. And it's real simple. Let's go with number five, for instance. So you would find number five here. The symbol for number five is Y. So wherever you see a Y, it's for instance down here, that's where you would put this color. Hold on just a moment, please. Sorry about that. I had the UPS man at the door. So anyway, just match up, like I was saying, the colors with your symbol over here on the side, and it will tell you where everything goes. And I just think that little lammy, I can't help but say it more, is precious. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Now that lammy was four dollars and twenty twenty six cents. Oh, quick measure. It's a thirty by thirty centimeter. Dear, I just do not like the glare on this. There we go. So cute. Let's take a quick measure in inches and see what size this is. Okay, so it's like a little over nine and three quarters by about nine and three quarters, so it's a nice square. She's just beautiful. Okay, now this pen. The cross stitch kit, did I tell you, was $12.80. This is a diamond painting pen. It comes with the tip. You can put other tips in here if you want. It's got beautiful little blue gems in here. They come in all different colors. It's resin. It has a multi-placer on the end. I'm thinking that's probably a seven placer and maybe a nine. I love this pen because of the weight. I love the fact that it's curved and that it's thick. So when my hands hurt, holding on to a bigger pen like this really seems to help than a skinny pen like this. I mean, the size difference is massive. $6.29 for this pen with a tip and a multi-placer. I think it's a good price. I love the fact that it's it's just so easy to hold. And then one more thing. These are cute little cactus stickers that are diamond painting. I love these. They have so many stickers to choose from. Great for kids, great for gifts. I'm going to actually do these and turn them into magnets. Put magnets on the back. It would be a, a great teacher gift too. Have your kids make a bunch of magnets up and give it to their teachers. I know teachers use magnets a lot. You can use these at your work if you work in a cubby or um, just put them on the wall. I think they're precious. they got little happy faces and sunglasses and there's hearts and balloons. Super easy to do. Comes with two trays. 
the variety they have of these stickers is massive. I think I said that. These were $3.08, which I think is money well spent. So really, you don't have to worry about a legend with here. Um, you would just find, for instance, number eight. You would find number eight on your picture, which like for, is right. All those number eights are in here. And that's where you would put it. You just match up the first number on each bag of color and just put them on here that way. It'll go quickly. And for someone who's beginning diamond painting, this is a great project to have. If you have uh, children that you're introducing in diamond painting, this is also a great project to have too. I think they're wonderful. And I'm looking forward to making magnets. I just need to find some magnets. I think maybe I'll look at Timu and see how their magnets are. So today's video, we have the pen and the magnets. Now GBFKE has a special where if you buy four, you get one free. So put five into your cart. They also pay VAT tax if you live in a country that charges value added tax. They will pay your tax. They do offer free shipping, but that was in euros, so I don't quite know what that was. Um, but when you log in, you'll find that out. I will have links for all these items in the description down below, along with a link to GBFKE if you're interested in any of the things that I showed you today. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.